Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. As interest rates continue to rise and the stock market continuing to pull back, some of my favorite high yield dividend stocks are on a huge sale. Today, I'm going to show you my top five that I'm planning to add to my portfolio so I can have some great passive income for when the stock market eventually recovers. So as you guys all know, the number one rule to investing is to buy low and sell high while, while the stock market is on sale right now. I'm going to pick up a couple of these good quality stocks that I'm planning to have in my portfolio to give me passive income in the form of dividends. Dividends is by far the easiest form of passive income. You literally do nothing at all except for own a piece of these companies and you get paid out every single month. That's right. The five I'm bringing you guys today are monthly dividend stocks and they pay you every single month and you can choose whatever you want to do with that money. You could reinvest it back into that company and get paid even more next month or you could pull some of that money out go on vacation or pay off some of your bills so if you're ready to have some easy passive income make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button because that helps out this channel more than you even imagine and if you want to help it out just even further hit that notification bell but enough talking let's go on ahead and dive into this video Okay, let's run through these five real fast. The first one I'm going to bring you guys is ticker symbol WPC. Now, WP ranks among the largest net lease REITs with an enterprise value of around $18 billion and a diverse portfolio of operational critical commercial real estate. So that means that this is a real estate REIT. Real estate REITs are required by law to pay out 90% of their taxable income back to their investors in the form of dividends. WPC has a dividend yield of 6.2% and they're also been increasing their dividends for the last eight years. Now, the reason I'm looking to invest into them was because I've been waiting for this company to have a dip. In fact, over the last year, while WPC was just going up and up and up and up, up it showed no signs of pulling back in fact it became a little bit overvalued for me on how every single stock inside the stock market was pulling back 30 40 percent while this company was continuing to make higher highs and not lower lows and then all of a sudden bam there it goes that is the dip we've been looking for over the last month it took a major dip of around 20 percent 19.22 percent so with a company like this finally pulling back that has been performing well in a recession type stock market and inflation continuing to rise we finally got the pullback that i'm comfortable going in and buying a couple of shares of this company at around 68 65 dollars i might wait for it to pull back just a little more so this is the big dip that we've been waiting on that i've been waiting on on this company and that's ticker symbol wpc that has a dividend yield of 6.2 percent the next one is ticker symbol qyld over the last year they're down 31 almost 32 percent at the time of the recording of this video now qyld is a covered call etf what does that mean that means they're selling options they're not buying options they're selling options on different stocks that they have inside of their portfolio generating income for qyld in addition that back out to their investors in the form of dividends and the reason why qyld is so popular among the dividend investing community is because right now according to seeking alpha they have a dividend yield of 17.02% with a very large dividends. And they're able to do that because they run cover calls. I showed you guys how you can run cover calls by yourself to where you can sell cash secure puts and sell cover calls. But if you don't know how to do that yourself, then QYLD does it for you. The only thing is, is that because they have such a high dividend yield, this is not going to be a major growth company inside of your portfolio. But if you're looking for growth, don't look at these high dividend paying stocks. We're strictly looking for passive income when we're looking at these high dividend paying stocks. So right now I am down on QYLD. Well, I will make that back in dividends. I am down on QYLD and I have a reoccurring investment investing $20 every single day that the market is open. So right now I have around 75 shares, which is around $1,154 worth of QYLD. So as it continues to pull back, me dollar cost averaging in on $20 a day, hopefully my average balance it out. So over the next couple of years or so, when it gets hopefully back to around $20, I'll be back in profit and I will continue to make passive income by doing absolutely nothing from their high dividend paying um, stock from QYLD. 
Before we dive into the next one, I'm planning on buying these stocks inside a platform called Webull. Right now, if you sign up for Webull by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money, just one penny if you want to, and you can receive up to 13 free stocks. With those 13 free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you can sell those 13 free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. And who knows, some of those free stocks could be some of the dividends, the high paying dividend yields that we're talking about in this video. So if you guys do want to check out that platform and get some free stocks, make sure you check out the link down in the description. The third one I'm going to bring you guys is probably my favorite out of all of them, which is Realty Income. Realty Income, aka ticker symbol O, is known as the monthly paying dividend stocks. When you talk about what is the monthly paying dividend stocks, everyone brings up Realty Income. It is another real estate REIT that has, that has to follow the REIT instructions of paying back out the investors 90% of their taxable income in the form of dividends which is why people love this company so much. In fact, over the last five years, they are still up while the stock market has been pulling back. It goes up, up, and up. Had a pandemic, continued to rise, and, and now we've gone into the stages of high inflation, so now it's starting to pull back. So as it pulled back 18% or 20% over the last three months, this is when I'm gonna go in and buy a couple of great shares of Realty Income at a discounted price. Now, the reason I love Realty Income, they have a dividend yield of 5.36, um dividend yield but the reason i love them so much is that they have increased increased their dividends every single year for the last 25 years they are in no form shape or near of cutting their dividends or decreasing their dividends in the foreseen future in fact that's why a lot of people love investing into the monthly paying dividend stock is that because not only are you going to make more than you did in the previous year even if you are reinvesting your stocks but they're going to also increase their dividends probably for the next couple of years because their balance sheet looks so good is that they are so dependable they're going to pay out every single month and they're gonna increase their dividends every single year, at least for the last 25 years. So that's why ticker symbol O is my favorite on this list. Now the next time I'm, I'm gonna bring you are also some bangers as well with some high dividends. All right, the next one I'm gonna bring you guys is ticker symbol PFLT, Penny Park Floating Rate. Now, Plenty Park is a company, it's a traded fund that invests in middle market companies located inside the United States. Now, they have a pretty sweet dividend yield of 11%. But the thing about Plenty Park is that they have not increased their dividends at all over the last couple of years. They, in fact, they don't increase their dividends, but, but the great thing about it is that they don't cut their dividends and at, a, and at a double digit dividend yield, let me show you guys exactly what that looked like if you were still investing into them over the next couple of years. So here we are on Portfolio Visualizer. Let's say we started off with $1,000 and we invest $1,000 every single month. So around $250 a week into ticket symbol PFLT. And we also reinvest our dividends. We're gonna put 100% off our portfolio into a PFLT. We're gonna hit analyze portfolio to see what this looks like. So we started investing all the way from 2012 to 2022. We start off with $1,000 and we'll have a final balance of $188,000, almost $200,000 before this market started to pull back. But the sweet thing about that, even though they do not increase their dividends, they maintain 11% dividend yield over all of these years. This is what your income would look like from your dividends while you're also increasing it. So over the last couple of years, it looked like from 2019, you make 11,000 and then you go from 14,000 in 2020 to 18,000 in 2021. So it, look, so it looks like you increase your dividend income that year by 4,000 over the next couple of years. So in 2022, you expect to make around $22,000 in the form of dividends. That is completely insane. I mean, every year you could buy a new car, you could go on vacation, you could pay off all your bills. You could do all that if you just invest for PFLT over the last, since 2012 to 2022, over the last nine to 10 years. So if you had, if you was making $22,000 a year in the form of dividends, now you're making around $1,830 $33 a month in dividends just from investing to a company that doesn't quite raise their dividends or cut the dividends but have a double digit dividend yield of 11%. So that's going to take us to our next stock, ticker symbol M-A-I-N, Main, Main Street Capital. 
Maine is a business development corporation. It specializes in loans and equity investments in mid-sized businesses. Now, Maine has been increasing their dividends unlike PFLT. Over the last year, they are down 22% and they have a sweet dividend yield of around 7.97%, almost an 8% gain. Um, the dividend yield over on Robinhood is not as well, it's not as accurate as it is on Webull or Seeking Alpha. That's why I like to use those. But as you guys can see, this is another 7, 8% dividend yield company that historically over the last five years have paid back their investors 9% every single year. It might not be this year, but over the last five years, it has paid back their investors 9% annually over the last five years. And, and this is another one that I would like to add to my portfolio if I could get it at the right price. And over the last three months, it's pulled back 18.85% at the recording of this video. And that's it dreamers those are the top five high dividend yield dividend stocks that i'm, that I'm planning to add a large position to my portfolio so that i could collect some of those that's some of that sweet passive income because dividends are by far the easiest way of passive income i literally wake up to money i do nothing i am asleep and i wake up and i have more money than I did yesterday inside of my account. So if you guys wanna comment down below, let me know which one is your favorite down in the comment section of these five. If neither one of those were your favorite, let me know which one is your favorite down in the comment section. I can't wait to check that out. I might actually do a video over that and shout you out. But other than that, if you guys do wanna know when and how much I'm buying of each stock, um, check out the link down in the comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Over there, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock. I post all my option trades my day trades my technical analysis and we also have pro day traders in there that post that option trades every single day so if you want to be a part of an awesome community that want to be financially free just like you make sure you check out the link down in the pinned comment section but other than that guys make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that thumbs up button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace